Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here with an update for the next storm to affect us late Thursday and Friday and a smaller one for Monday. Uh, this is going to be cold and windy is the theme. We will see some rain and mountain snow, but cold and windy is the theme. So very low snow levels coming up for Thursday night and Friday. This is the precipitation so far this water year, this rainy season. You can see along the coast, uh, we've already received our normal precipitation. We're 120 to 150% above normal. Inland, we still could use some precipitation, especially over our desert areas, which are running below normal. Snowpack, this is great news. The snowpack across California really recovered with this late season uh, storm activity that started in February. So uh, the snowpack is sitting at 100% of average, right about normal. You can see it on the weather satellite today as shown on the left-hand side. Now, if you want to compare it to last year, it's well below. And the chart up top shows that it's sitting just above normal and um, about half of the snowpack we saw this time last year, early April. Here's the highlights with the weather coming up. Warm conditions, uh, again on Wednesday, above average temperatures. The wind starts to increase Thursday afternoon, really blows in the mountains and deserts Thursday night and Friday morning. This is a strong cold front. Um, it'll produce widespread precipitation, which will taper to showers and isolated thunderstorms on Friday. The low snow levels I wanna emphasize early Friday morning, very low snow levels, some of the lowest we've seen this year. The highest precipitation totals, even though it's not a wet storm, look to be over San Diego County and then our mountain areas. Uh, all of Southern California mountains, but focused on San Diego County. High winds and rough seas over the ocean waters. Really cold temperatures on Friday. These are uh, temperatures much below average. Hey, I got a dry, milder forecast for the weekend. That's great news. And the next storm, albeit smaller, is forecast for Monday. Temperatures. Take a look at these warm temperatures. No explanation needed here downright warm in the inland valleys and the deserts. Short-lived. By Friday, we're only looking at temperatures in the 50s in the valleys and coast, barely getting over 60 in the lower deserts that were in the upper 80s. So big changes in store, mountain areas going from the 50s to not getting above 35 degrees on Friday with the snow showers. This is what's gonna cause it, a direct hit uh, a really cold storm, a lot like last weekend, but colder than last weekend, carves across Southern California. Now the storm on Monday has less blue, less lines to it, so that means less wind and not as cold, even though it does track across Southern California on Monday for more showers and wind. This is not an atmospheric river coming up, so we don't see much moisture with it. The theme with this storm coming up is the cold, unstable air and the windy conditions. This is the statewide precipitation. You can see mostly light everywhere, some additional snow for that normal snowpack, that 100% snowpack, and nice and widespread from Northern California to Southern California. Zooming up in Southern California, you can see it's heaviest for Thursday night and Friday over our mountains, especially San Diego County. Um, and much lighter, only about a quarter of an inch or even a little bit less for Inland Empire and Orange County. It's a quick hitter, and that's also because it's got a lot of wind. So the wind's really going to pick up Thursday afternoon in the mountain passes and deserts. We'll have some strong wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour, as shown here. Now, it will be breezy along the coast and the valleys, and remember the rough seas on Friday and the overall rough, windy conditions over our ocean on Friday. Now this does have enough moisture to squeeze out that cold air snow, so a, a dry snow and really low snow level, so we could see some snow all the way down to three or 4,000 feet, uh, at least briefly Friday morning. And snow levels don't recover much on Friday during the day. So we're looking at mountain communities getting a few more inches of snow on top of the eight to 18 inches of snow that you received over the weekend. The outlook looks like this. The weekend looks like a break. Some windy, showery, cold conditions, however, starting as early as Thursday afternoon for our mountains and deserts, but the shower activity Thursday night and Friday. 
The final storm looks to be Monday. It's weaker, but it does have precipitation and some wind with it. The outlook calls for drier conditions. So hopefully this pans out. We're due a break for some warmer, drier conditions. It looks like that's in the cards for the middle of April. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.